Hi, how are you today? Today I'm making a set of coasters out of these round geode molds that I purchased actually quite a while ago from Amazon. I've used them quite a few times. I have mixed up about 12 ounces of crystal resin and I've already put in probably about an ounce of clear on the bottom. I'm just hitting it a little bit with my heat gun to try to get rid of some bubbles and making sure that all the resin has spread out right to the edge of the mold. So I'm only using a few colors today. This is a metallic paste from Lorez. It's called Appetite Blue. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure if I am. It's quite pretty. It's a blue with a little bit of green hint to it. It's very similar to Artist Loft's um, Cobalt Blue. So I think it's a very pretty color. This is a mica powder from Just Paint in the color Snowflake. And then I have some Recollections Glitter just a small amount made kind of into a paste. It's called Glitz, and it has these really cute little um, quasar-shaped glitter in them and some stars too, I believe. They're holographic, so they shift color a little bit on a silver base. So I'm just going around the edges of the mold with the metallic paste. Try, trying to achieve the crackled look or the stone look on the underside of the coasters when these are all said and done. I'm not going to pour the resin all the way to the rim of the coasters because I want to be able to put a top coat on the bottom side and have that as the top, quote unquote, of the, of the coaster, even though I think with these colors, they'll be really pretty uh, on both sides of the coasters. So I apologize for not getting videos up on a regular basis. I have a one-year-old chocolate lab puppy. <laughs> it's, I mean, he's just, I love him so much. He's so much fun, but he's really quite exhausting. And I also work and that's also exhausting. So when I get home from work, I generally don't want to do a whole lot other than basic necessities of taking care of myself, my dog, and my house. Um, and I also have been working a little bit with tumblers and geodes, so it's, uh, it's hard to get time and coordination going to record everything and edit everything. And I really just wish I was one of those people that had a set routine, stuck to a set routine, and and recorded everything but unfortunately I'm not I will start a project I'll start recording it and then I'll get this oh I have 15 minutes to work on it and I'll start working on it and realize that I forgot to record a major part of the process and I don't like saying oh I forgot to report record this part of the process I don't like that when I see that in somebody else's <laughs> videos <laughs> Um, even though it's not really that big of a deal, I think it's just a, a personal peeve of mine to do that with my own videos, although I'm sure I've I've done it before. 
So I didn't warm up my resin before I poured these coasters, so I do have quite a few bubbles in it. Um, so I do use my heat gun more than I think I cared to or should have or wanted to. Um, and I'm not sure if that had any bearing on the results of the coasters. But I think, my again, my lack of patience with warming up my resin and... making sure that I'm getting as many bubbles out beforehand that I can. I really have to be better about that. Regardless, I think these are looking really pretty. I love this blue. It doesn't end up looking as green as I thought it would, but it's still just a really pretty color. And the metallic of the paste is creates just extra sheen and the whole effect. So this is just a, a little bit later. Um, I just keep going back with my heat gun. I've waited a little while in between using it to try to give the bubbles a chance to come to the top. And you can see that everything's starting to pull towards the center. And my glitter is nice and chunky now that it's been sitting there for a little while. So I just use a couple of craft sticks to drop a good sized dollop in the middle of each mold. And I'm really excited to see this glitter because it's going to um, sink down to the bottom of these coasters and when I flip them over to show you the the top of them I'm hoping that the the little shapes of the glitters and everything will look really nice at the bottom or top I guess it depends on which way you're looking at them I really like using shaped glitter in the middle of my coasters. I think it just looks a little bit more interesting. I love glitter in any shape, form, or color or size. Um, but I'm always really happy when I've used some kind of shaped glitter. Just to add a little bit of extra interest. Something else for the eye to look at. So these, these coasters have been sitting for probably a day. And you can see those little quasars, they're so pretty. I'm really happy because some of them floated to the top and some of them sank to the bottom. So they kind of held their, like they didn't spread out too much, but they flattened out nicely and you can see the iridescent sheen on them there. They're really cute. So I've placed a clean sheet underneath my coasters so that I'm not getting any smudges from leftover resin or unmixed resin or anything else that might be on my table. I've ruined a few set of coasters by not demolding on a perfectly clean surface and it's kind of frustrating. So I'm trying to make sure that I put down a clean piece of paper underneath So the edge of these coasters on the top, as I'm demolding them, do have a pretty sharp edge. So after I've done um, a heat layer top coat on the underside of it, I will go back with my Dremel 
sand those off and then probably use just a little swipe of polycrylic to um, shine up that sanded edge because it will be dull. I've shown that in the previous video. If you want me to show it again, I definitely can. So here's the flip side, which will hopefully be the top side of these coasters. And got a little bit of a crackle look to it. And I love that glitter, it's so pretty. And they're quite transparent. I did use a lot of clear resin. And that Appetite Blue metallic paste was rather transparent as well, semi-transparent. I did get a few little blobby spots from the snowflake, but it still looks okay. I always say you can't go wrong with blue. <laughs> I think it is universally the most popular color. So these will be sanded, top coated, and I don't think I'm going to be putting an edge on it at all. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Please hit like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Bye.